very, very successful spring. Um, I know you were at the practice today. There was just a whole lot of energy, everybody flying around making plays. So I think uh, the way that we handled this last kind of day um, just kind of showed like what the spring was about, just the energy kind of the, uh, all the way throughout. And uh, we finished strong today too. So yeah, it was a great spring, honestly. Looks like you guys won a lot of your battles with the DBs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that was good for you guys. It's a <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. We just. Like we said, we just made an emphasis not to just um, look at it as a last day, kind of slack off day. We just look, uh, was looking at it as just a day to just get better and truly put a cap to the spring. So I think uh, as a wide receiver core, I think we just did our job today for sure. How much more comfortable do you feel with what Coach Stav wants to do and what other steps do you still need to take in that regard? Uh, I feel very comfortable. Um, I think really the whole offense is starting to get more comfortable as we do more plays with Coach Stav. Um, the biggest thing I would say uh, adjustment wise would just be the tempo and I think we handled that really well um, just transitioning from the different offenses so I think um, just the more reps we get throughout and just the more times we just keep doing it over and over and over again it's just just like clockwork at that point. How do you feel about the format of today obviously changing up a little bit uh, did the intensity feel kind of the same as maybe last year's spring game or what was the feeling there? Yeah, I thought it was it was really interesting for sure, but um, I think intensity wise, I think it was really just the same, if not even better, honestly, because uh, I really just didn't know what it was gonna be, kind of coming into it. They kind of just threw it on, uh, threw it on us, kind of kind of late, but um, uh, when we, whenever we got out there and just started getting the groove, started just doing one on ones, and everybody just hyping everybody up, it was it was just great, honestly. Does that give you kind of added motivation? You know, maybe having having family there on hand to watch you do those. Oh yeah, for sure. My my pops was out there today, so uh, seeing him or because he wasn't at, at uh, he actually wasn't able to come last year, so um, him being uh, here this year it was just a it was a huge motivation for sure. Josh, the competition in that wide receiver room, I see I see a lot of guys making catches. Have you seen that group kind of step up and really you know kind of make a big step this spring? Oh uh, yeah, I would definitely say so. I think everybody in the room sees that competition as well. So I think um, when everyone sees that competition, everyone, everybody wants to get better and truly it's like, I'm, I want to be that starter position. I want to do this uh, for the team. So when that happens and everybody just flying around and constantly working, like everybody grows at the same time. So I think um, kind of maturing and taking that next step and seeing that competition has been a huge thing this spring for us. We've seen the quarterbacks compete all spring. What stands out about Daquan Sawyer, maybe even RJ too? What, what has separated each of them? Um, I would all say that they're just, they do their thing, honestly. Daquan, he just, he came in um, with flying colors. He's doing his thing. And then Sawyer, he's also just, he sees the competition with Daquan and RJ, and he's been stepping up. And then RJ, he's just been doing him, honestly. Just his arm strength has still been there, uh, coming in every day competing. So I think all of them are just competing in their own unique way, for sure. As a newcomer, is Daquan able to lead like you, like you hope a quarterback can lead, that kind of thing? Oh, yeah, for sure. He definitely has great leadership qualities. Um, if he's frustrated, he'll show it. He'll get guys going. Um, really, just everything you see in the leader, like he, he definitely brings that for sure. What do you think Ashton brings to the table kind of coming into this room? He made a ton of plays. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Ashton brings kind of a different kind of fire, and that's what Coach Bate likes to describe it too, to our wide receiver room. Um, whenever he joined the room, everyone kind of saw like, oh, shoot, like this dude, this dude's a baller for sure. So it kind of goes back to that competition aspect um, of seeing that competition. Everybody wanna, uh, wanted to raise um, to kind of his level at times too. So I think just that competition aspect um, is in full effect whenever uh, he came to the room for sure. What's the vibe heading into the summer? What are you, how are you guys feeling about the upcoming season? What do you guys need to do, I guess, to make sure you're up to that level? Oh yeah, we're feeling great, honestly. Um, the biggest thing is just carrying this momentum and taking it into summer workouts and then fall camp as well. Uh, that's what kind of Coach Spaff has been saying to us too. Like, it was a good start, but we still got a long ways to go and just keep on, keep on trucking at it. And then once we get in the flow, like, we'll be unstoppable.